Hi, I'm here to talk about the tool Git PR, which is used to make pull requests as quick as possible. Basically, everyone always says you should open small pull request, but when the keystrokes needed to actually go to the browser, open the pull request, type the message, takes more time than the change itself, that's not really going to happen. So let's see how it works. Here we are in a repository. The change is already here. I can look at it using my git word this alias git DIW to see the change. Okay, that's good. Start with git fetch. That's always a good idea before making a new pull request. We can do git PR new to make a new branch for the pull request. Let's call this fix caching. Okay, the branch is made. If we look at the branches using git branch, my alias is dash br, we see it's based off of origin master, which is the right thing. So now we do the commit. I have an alias cip, which is the same as git commit dash p. So I run this and it interactively shows the commits to me. Yes and yes. Okay, here we go. This automatic prefix of the file name that has changed is not from git PR. It's something else that I've made. I will paste in my pre-made commit message, which shows um, why it's done and what is to review. So this becomes the pull request message because there's no reason to make a separate commit message and pull request message. It's not that bad to have the pull request info saved as a permanent part of the repository anyway. So we save it and the commit is made. We can verify with git show. Yep. So now we get PR push. So this will just push the branch. If we add the dash R option, then it will also open a pull request with it. If we do dash N, it will also not show an editor to allow us to enter the pull request message. Without this, an editor will open and will show this um, our commit message and we can edit it for the pull request message. That's just unnecessary right now. So PR push dash R dash N, let's do this. So it's pushed. So up to here is op uh, just pushing. And now here it is trying to open the pull request. Let's copy this and go to GitHub. And here we are. And the pull request title is the title of our commit. And the other words are the commit message. And that's basically it. So it works the same for GitHub and GitLab and will auto detect the difference between them. And also if unlike this case, you have a separate fork for your changes from the upstream, it can automatically detect these. So like, oh, uh, get PR info. We see the detected origin is origin, the detected upstream remote is also origin because I only have one remote here. So to clean up our old stuff, we can git PR prune, which will remove all of the branches which have already been merged, both locally and remote. So we can also fetch pull request like this, git PR fetch eight. And then there's a new branch PR slash eight. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, well, another command. But anyway, there's a, uh, no, well, anyway, there's a new remote tracking branch origin PR8, which will show the contents of that PR and you can check it out. Yeah, there we go. Now we're on PR8. Okay, that's basically it. It's a single file, single shell script that you just need to put in path. And to do GitHub, you just need to install the single binary hub, which controls the GitHub API to make these pull requests. Thanks a lot.